for just a moment, imagine what would happen to America if our population went down. What would happen to the price of real estate if we had more real estate than people and it was going to be that way for a long time? Well, I'm in Japan and I'm exploring this phenomenon because it's been that way here for decades. We're going to talk about what is happening in the Japanese real estate market and what is likely to happen in America's real estate future. Because if you're a follower on my channel, you follow the $2 billion worth of real estate that I've transacted and I'm showing you how to build wealth. This is absolutely going to affect your future. Check it out. One. I'm in Japan, outside of Tokyo. Tokyo is the largest, most populated city on planet Earth. Like in its city center, we're talking over 14 million people. And in its greater urban area, nearly double that. Now, Japan has been experiencing for a few decades right now, a reverse trend of what we're seeing in America. In America, population continues to grow. We've got migration, people coming into the country. We've got people making babies. And what it does is it increases our need for supply of real estate. We need more homes. But in Japan, that changed long ago. According to the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, Japan had a total of 62.4 million dwelling units as of 2018. That is expected to increase to as many as 65.4 million dwelling units in 2023. However, check this out. This is the important part. The number of households are peaking at 54 million in 2023. Homes have continued to increase despite a falling population because more people are living alone on top of a rising number of unmarried people. By the year 2023, there's going to be a disparity between supply and demand of about 10 million homes. And as I've interviewed some of the locals and the tour guides that are helping us out here, what they're talking about is the fact that Japanese people like new stuff. They still want new homes. And there's a lot of foreign nationals coming in that's buying up some of their excess real estate, but there's a lot of real estate right now that is just going completely unrented. And what is that doing to the price of real estate? That's the important question that we need to explore because it really is only a matter of time before America experiences some type of what's called economic winter. In other words, it's where your population is in decline. What happens to all the excess real estate that people don't want anymore? Because don't forget, what something is worth in real estate is what someone's willing to pay. If you don't got people that are willing to pay, it drops that value. What is happening here in Japan? What will happen in the US? Check it out. So one of the problems that we have here in Japan is, like I said earlier, a lot of the new generation don't want the old generation homes. There's a really interesting chart here about the housing market by country. And if you take a look at Japan versus the UK or the US, check it out. The housing glut has been perpetuated by weak demand for existing homes. Older homes are less popular and many don't meet earthquake and energy saving standards. This is a result of the government and housing industry prioritizing quantity over quality. And so we're missing 10 million homes. And why is that? Well, it's because basically the new generation says we want the new stuff. We don't want the old stuff. Check it out. That is Mount Fuji. She is revealing a beautiful glimpse of herself today. Hello, check it out. They are mining like sulfur and other stuff from the volcanic activity for 10 years in the mountainside. Uh, pretty exciting. You don't get to see Mount Fuji every day. So what does this mean for Japan? Well, it means that if you have more houses and you have people, that the price of real estate goes down. It's not a market that you want to be in. What does that mean for the US? Well, right now we have the opposite problem. Literally, we're missing 6.5 million homes in this country. And what that means is for the next decade, we're going to be behind. We're going to be trying to get ahead. And once the Fed drops rates, guess what's going to happen to the price of real estate? It's going to go through the roof. In fact, even as high as rates are, it's amazing that real estate values are holding steady, even slightly going up just a little bit. It's as wild and crazy as um, getting on a pirate ship in Japan on this lake, even though they don't have any history of anything related to pirates. It's kind of random. This is a black game that is cooked in the sulfur of this volcanic mountain. And um, it's said that the, what the sulfur does is it brings out and, and, and uh, puts a lot of iron in it. And there is a tradition here that if you eat one of the black eggs, then um, your life expectancy will increase by seven years. Is it awful? Great. Right. I'll do another one. 14 more years left. I'm going to be 144 years old. So maybe this is the way. It's not just biohacking. It's 
black Japanese eggs. I'm telling you right now, I've been a monster proponent for real estate. I'm trying to get everyone to buy real estate when timing is right. Right now, the media is saying, don't buy, timing is wrong, timing is off. Timing couldn't be more perfect, especially with the number of really good deals hitting the country right now. There's a huge demand for all housing right now because of a housing shortage in the United States. And according to CNN, the U.S. is short 6.5 million homes. Now is actually one of the most ideal times to invest in real estate because of the high demand. There's also a huge market here for older homes, unlike what we see happening in Japan. Old homes tend to be sold below the median. When you take all that into account, it's like, wow, there's more better deals out there right now than ever before, but you got to know how to get your hands on them because with inventory being really tight, it means that once a home hits the market, there's a lot of people that are going after it. And so that type of market makes it a little bit more challenging for investors to get their hands on good deals, unless you know someone like me that can show you where I find all of my good deals. Because remember, I'm buying excellent real estate every single day. And I am right now because of what I saw back in 2008. 2008, when the media said was the worst time to buy, ended up being the opposite for investors. That is 100% true right now, if you know what you're doing. In fact, over the next decade, I believe that we're going to see the median home price go up another hundred to 150, maybe $200,000. And anyone that owns real estate, you're going to feel like you became an instant millionaire. And if you want that to be you, then you want to definitely pay attention at the end of this video, because I'm going to show you what you do next to take advantage of this market. Today, we've looked at two very different markets. We've looked at Japan, where the real estate is in decline. We've taken a look at the United States, which is moving in the opposite direction. And the question is, what should you do right now? Well, a lot of people want to know, Chris, should I invest in real estate in other markets? And for me, I'm like, no, right now, the United States is prime. In fact, anyone that wants to be wealthy, this is hands down the best decade to be in the game. In fact, my prediction for the next 20 years is that the long-term buying and holding of real estate is going to be so profitable. At the same time, I'm flipping a lot of real estate. I'm wholesaling deals because there's $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 to be made really quick. And if you want to learn about any of these gains, let me tell you something. You can partner with me in real estate. I can't take on everyone as a partner, but every month there's a handful of people that become my partner. They usually put up money from the 401ks or IRAs or equity, right? Like if you've got uh, some equity that is built up in a primary residence or savings and you want to team up with someone that has done $2 billion worth of real estate, to the tune of over 6,500 deals, click the link below and get with me and my team and let's explore possibilities because the market and the timing right now is perfect for you and I to get together and crush it. Hey, thanks for joining me today in Japan on today's video about what's happening in this market, also what's happening in the United States. And the internet thinks that the next video of mine that you're going to love is this one right here. So go ahead and click right here and I'll see you on the next video.